So we're at Dalby. Um, apparently we're a day early. <laughs> we're here <laughs> waiting for Tony at the BP at uh, Kingsthorpe where we arranged to meet him but I was getting a bit concerned and I gave him a ring I'm like where are you mate? He's like oh I'm just at home getting my bike ready He's like huh uh, are we supposed to be leaving today? Being Friday and he's like no no it was Saturday I went oh anyhow so <laughs> We've decided to push on. Yeah, so, oh well, you know, that's what happens when you're eager to go somewhere. Um, you should be okay. Yeah. Anyway, oh, good uh, green light. Oh, me neutral. Oh yeah, um, that's pretty funny. So yeah, we're just going to truck, um, slap it out to Boulogne and uh, I'll, uh, there's not a lot to see between here and there, apart from tarmac, so um, I'll catch you when we get there, I suppose. St. George uh, after our little early departure yesterday we've met up with Tony just had a uh, morning tea at uh, the Stevie Jeans coffee shop and um, we're now heading to Bolland uh, for the night um, so it's, what is it, nearly 12 o'clock, so we finally met up with you after our eager departure yesterday. Yes. <laughs> Some people are just too keen for adventure. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's it. Yay, team! <laughs> um, I'll just try and sneak in here. So yeah, we're only about an hour and a bit from Bolland. Um, where the beer will be flowing. Away we go.
Oh, he's lovely CB500X. Yeah, very nice. Like, it's always Every, everybody wants one. Not. <laughs> <laughs> we just met up with another fellow, um, didn't catch a name, but um, the cafe back there, he's um, got an Africa twin. And he <laughs> he's came over, he's like, oh, who's got the Africa twins out the front? He's like, uh, he thought, oh, I was the only one that in South East Queensland that owns one, but. Tony reckons they're like arseholes. <laughs> Everyone's got one. <laughs> but nah, g'day to you mate, if you're watching. I was copping a fair bit of vibration out of the back tyre yesterday. Because um, I was in such a rush to leave yesterday and the day before on Thursday I put these new rims on the bike and um, I didn't balance the balance the rims after putting the tyres on so uh, we just did that back at the back at the motel just put the axle between a couple of wheelie bins and it's not going to be perfect but it's a lot better than it was wow. a lot of water here at the minute yeah on one side at least yeah water no water Yeah. Have they got an ambulance here, have they? Or? Oh, not sure. Maybe there is a outpost for them. That's, um, now this is pronounced what? Bolon. 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 I just, just, yeah, when, wait, wait, wait. when you go into, you turn left into the street, just park in front of the door. Okay, where you guys stop? Yeah, yeah, because that's where you unload all your stuff and take it upstairs. Okay. So there's double green doors there? Yeah. Yeah, just park in front of that. Here we are, we're leaving Bolon. It's six degrees and um, we're on our way to Kanamala for breakfast. Oh. Um, Alright, we might go in front, Tony, with the bright lights. Yeah, we're just going to be cautious this morning because we're leaving it before sun up. We're just got to watch out for uh, wildlife. But uh, the vision's actually pretty good already, so... Apart from me having a tinted sun visor. Doesn't really help. I'm just going to sit on about 80. Yeah. Even though we do have fairly good uh, side vision here. It's almost 
almost like a rainbow, but I'm not sure if the camera picks it up so good. So we're about, oh, I don't know, still about 100 k's from Katamala. It's uh, 5 degrees still. And um, haven't seen any wildlife yet, which is good. Well, nothing that are alive anyway. Oh, yeah, that's right. Fingers need to move, don't they? bit muddy just don't, don't go in there hey how's your hands your hands you got them in the winter side of the glove do you it's small pretty much on the edge of the outback here Tony yeah Had a bacon and egg roll at uh, the servo there and we said keep on trucking because we don't want to be riding in the dark up near uh, Wendora this afternoon. At least the temperature's come up now at 16 degrees so all the pain from the freezing cold hands has uh, gone away. Not a bad place to have a beer, I'd say. Nice few dongers and wet, wet bar, that's all you want. Opal Centre? Oh, Opal Centre, I wonder if um, Steve and Sandy are going to stop in here. in there, yeah. on their stepdaughters at Quilpie. Yeah. There you go. Well, there you go, you can dispose of your shit. Hmm. Nice little place. Thank you for visiting. Well, it, was a fit, it was a quick visit, but a nice visit. Definitely. Um, it's saying we turn right in 114 kilometres <laughs> at Thakabinda of Corpy Road. Yeah. So, let's get this fucking thing working. HEMA. New low. Yeah, we've, it's not far, eh? It's probably... 8.3. We ain't gay K's on the road, are we? Yeah. Not far at all. Okay, that's fine. At least we um, we 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder why the GPS doesn't want to take us up that road. No. Maybe. I hope it's sealed. Well, it looks sealed on my hem map. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep, check. I knew it was just a little bit away, so I better just want to confirm it. <coughs> right. Oi. So we've just turned right on the MoMA. I think it's MoMA Road. Which uh, is going to take us up, up past Tomb Pine and then up to Quilpie. Quilpie. And we're How far off is that? Tomb Pine. Uh, my car I can't see on my map and my gloves don't work, so. No, that's okay. Can't, uh, I can't tell, but the uh, landscape's got a bit more interesting. Yeah. A bit of undulation and not versus just dead straight western road. Just saw a couple of people on push bikes back there. Doing it tough. But yeah, we're definitely um, definitely in the outback now. So this is the refreshment refreshments. Oh, yep, just go straight ahead. Yeah, just stopped here for a little break at the Toon Pine Hotel which is shut. Um, a lot here. Toon Pine Terraces. Can you stay in there? Must be able to stay in those dongers. Yeah. Yep. Four rooms on each side. Some sort of hall or something there. About a hundred k's to Quilpie from here. Thereabouts. Which we'll get some fuel and keep trocking on to. Windora. But how, how long ago this shut did you say, Tony? Um, I don't know when it shut. The owners said it's under, they're redeveloping it, so it's probably, you know, it'll be a good little while, maybe four or six months before they reopen again, but it's yeah. worthwhile just coming, here, coming out here again when it's open, I think. Yeah, it looks like it's got some character. Yeah, and it's in a nice spot. Hmm. Yeah, nice little spot, nice and quiet. Yeah, cool to go. I think we turn right up here, Tony, and they get the servos down there somewhere. Bikers. <laughs> Super Tenere. You need to tie it with. <laughs> oh, I've got a box, bro. Secure. 
Cue your load, buddy. All right, so what have we got? 246 kilometers. Yep. To uh, Windora. All tarmac. So. <laughs> Should be there by it's one o'clock now. He should be there by three. Is that we all? Well, yeah, my Garmin's reckons four ten, but I wouldn't believe that. Anyway, we're pretty pretty much on track, and um, just slab it all the way to Windora now, and then. Should be meeting up with uh, Steve from Big Bike Adventures. So we're just travelling through the uh, Cooper Creek um, floodplain, or whatever you would call it, the uh, Channel Country, about 20 k's out of Windora. Ooh, Windora. Chasing the sun at the moment, trying to get in there before four o'clock. Haven't seen any wildlife apart from a few cows. Comes a car. So yeah, so um, not long now we'll be in uh, Windora. Bit of water, isn't it? Very desolate, this is. Send water up up the end there and boil it. I don't know. Leaving Windora, we stayed at the uh, caravan park there last night. It's camped on the grass, which was all right. Five bucks a night from the council, which is pretty good. Got showers and hot water and stuff. And now we're heading out to uh, Haddon Corner, so it's about. 80 odd k's along mostly tar seal to there and then we turn left and head down towards the border in the corner there so uh, that's about 50 k's down and 50 k's back and then from there we're heading to Batuta tonight which is uh, the official reopening of the Batuta Hotel today so that could be very interesting We'll have to see how we go. What a great view. Yeah.
clouds were awesome. We were lucky enough to run into uh, Steve from Big Bike Adventures and um, he's in his Land Cruiser. He's got all of our fuel which is really handy because we have to carry basically an extra tank each so I'm carrying, I would be carrying 31 litres of extra fuel between the two bikes in order to make it to Birdsville because we're going down to Haddon Corner if, if we're going straight straight there it's not a problem it's, uh, you still have to take some fuel because it's, it's about 380 k's I think so um, that's just so outside of our fuel range but because we're going down to Haddock Corner and it's dirt road, there's some sand dunes. It's dirt road, there's some sand dunes. Uh, but there's about a 100k road return trip to the development road. We have to carry a fair bit of extra fuel. So I've got two, two 12 litre bladders and a, and, a nine, and a 10 litre bladder, but we only ever put one litre less in each one just so that there's room for expansion and whatnot. Anyway, so we'll see how we go. We should be fine. Tony's got an extra 10 litres for the X, uh, but he's he gets a lot better fuel economy um, out of the X, obviously, because it's only got half of, a, half of an Africa twin engine. But it does very well. Anyway, we'll uh, stick on the road and I'll talk to you soon. There's a couple of them. Come on. There you go. The landscape has definitely changed. They're only like four kilometers or something out of actually 20 k's out of uh, Medora I'm just heading out through this uh, track to see if I can come see if Steve's out here or not I've left the other fellas back at the road because it's a bit sandy and fully loaded. I don't know how they'll go.
easy, but <coughs> being that uh, Dad and Tony haven't experienced it at all, um, there are a couple of little deep sections here on this one. Gotcha. Yep. That's good, it just auto acquired. I don't think he's been out there. Um, I went about halfway, but there was all cattle tracks over there. I couldn't see any tire tracks, so it's pretty sandy. Um, like you guys could probably ride it, but um, not something you want to ease into. Nah. not something you want to ride fully loaded if you haven't ridden it before. No. Why do something you don't have to do? <laughs> well, yeah, we don't have to do anything really. But um, Yeah, I don't think he's been down there. It could be the wrong turn off, I don't know. You'd think it'd be signposted though, wouldn't you? Well, I, I, he did say the name of it, but I can't remember what it was. So, I, um, I don't think he went down there. There's just too many cattle tracks across the the sand to for a car to have been down there recently. Yep. Here because I have a flat front tire. Can only have been a spike or something on that track I went down. Anyway, um that's why we carry spare tubes I guess. You know where you probably got it? Probably on those grids. They run at 30 pound in the front tire. But I'm saying that's the only. Yeah. That's the only. Um, there was a nasty one back that way. Because I remember you guys said you said um, 
there was a grid that that, that was yeah it all depends who hits it where yeah so that would be the only like if you didn't hit anything on that track that that had happened nah, it was soft, soft that, that would have to be it but but that that puncture would have you, you know gone pretty quick like the air was coming out pretty quick mobile again lost a bit of time there so we can't really afford to push to make up for it that's the only problem so it's just business as usual economy run trying to keep the fuel economy down to about five liters per hundred and we're off to Haddon Corner He's not going to abandon us with the fuel. You would hope. <laughs> if anything, he's probably turned around and is looking for us. There's a vehicle on the side of the road up here, so it look, looks it looks awful like Steve. Yeah. It, in fact, it is. It yeah. is him. Well, there you go. I'll just stop and. Uh, let him know what happened. Uh, not far. Alright. I, I guess you're wondering why we've been so long. Oh, I believe you had a flat tyre. Uh, someone already told you. Yeah. Who was it? Me. Oh, no. Yeah, I went, I'm not sure, wasn't sure where you, the ruins were. Right. And I went down a, a track on the right. Oh, no, 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 it was a pinch flat, but. It was all sand, I don't think I got it there. It must have been a cattle grate at some point. Pinch flat. Okay. Um, there's a guy around the corner who's broken down like literally a kilometre. So I'm going to go and see if I can help him. Do you know how far it is to the turn off? Oh, 12 k's to the JC to, to the ruins. 12 k's. 12 k's to the ruins, enough there, it's not worth it. Okay. But if you want to wait there, that's fine. Um, I'm, I'm going to go and see if I can help this guy. Okay. You got, you got video of the changing tyres? Yeah. Alright, mate. Yeah, we're coming. Steve said he's already been down to the ruins, there's nothing there, so we're not mi we're not missing anything. That's a pretty cool landscape now. still going? They're coming to you. They'll be those two then me, so yep.
tires flat again. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. be something in there doing it. Yeah. I'm gonna stop here. You got a copy, Steve? Got another flat tyre. Another flat tyre. Thanks, mate. What the fuck? <laughs> 